What is up, my dudes? It's your boy, Easy Peasy Ham and Cheesy, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be doing some a random, some random battles. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm recording it this the same day that I recorded it yesterday's video. Here, excuse me. Let me just close that. I'm recording it the same day I recorded yesterday's video, but it's been a while, so I've woken up more, and he has a I, that's a dusk or a dawn. Ne that's a necrozma with the uh, not so good Lunala. So that's very scary for a Vavillion to fight. But I think I can do it. I'm gonna use Hurricane because it might confuse. Uh, and it will. It should be neutral. Well, alright, yeah, it'll be neutral. But this is still very, very scary for a tiny little butterfly to be fighting a combination of some... I, I've never played Gen 7. Um, the last game I played was Black and White 2. So, I, I'm not really sure about this, but I'm pretty sure it's a combination of, like, a giant... Um, like, weird night butterfly, like, but, like, it's kind of extremely powerful, and a, um, and a, I don't know what Necrozma is, but still, it's very powerful, and, but I guess he's just scared over Vavillion's immense power, I mean, just look at those stats, and it, you can't, no, no matter how good you are, you cannot defeat my little butterfly. But actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, see what my team members like, and I, yeah, the, do I have any dark, yeah, dark type moves? Oh, oh my Dunsparce's bite. So he is still taking a very, very long time. Which, oh shoot, alright, okay. Luckily I didn't just forfeit. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long. There's not really, I mean, he's gonna be asleep and so there's not really that big of a decision to make. And, yeah, why, why is he taking so long to make a decision? Should I just start another no i'm not gonna screw up i'm gonna start another battle and maybe you guys will get to see the switch back and forth because i don't want to uh i don't want to leave you guys just sitting oh no it's a geo it, he probably has geomancy uh uh huh huh but I'm still gonna calm mind up. He's gonna geomancy and oh no, he didn't. He moon blasted me. But I'm now that I'm calm minded up, I'm gonna hit him with a dazzling gleam. Check it out. Fervro. Okay, he lost due to inactivity. I hit him with a dazzling gleam, but he was immune because of Wonder Guard. So I guess just calm mind up. He oh wait, I don't don't oh I bounced the burn back so he'll go he will go down to the burn <laughs> that was a big oof for him since out the archaeops um yeah uh and he one shot me with acrobatics do i have anything huh. i'm gonna send out shrapedo because he's a water type and he'll be a mega and i can just hit him with a waterfall, and that'll be good. If you're hearing like chirping noises, my pet bird Chili is here, is right next to me. Um, here, Chili, talk. Come on, Chili, say something. He is kind of biting at the microphone. You might have heard that, but it's right here. So if you hear some chirping, that that's it. So he did a good amount of, da of damage to me. Uh, you, you probably just heard his uh, chili's fluttering wings that he flew up. But 
Yeah, there, he outspeeds, and there's no one, unless he misses, he doesn't have an item, so there's no way um, for me to uh, win, even though, but the, the good thing is now, whatever I send in, his attack and special attack will be lowered because of his ability to feedist. I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks. He used Endeavor, got me down to his health. I healed up a bit. Now I'm gonna just sucker punch him down. Um. <sighs> he sends the Xerneas out again. Um. <sighs> uh. I'm gonna taunt. I was gonna taunt, but he. Because then he couldn't geomancy. But I guess I won't, because he ended up. Oh. Uh, oh, wait, yes, I am a poison type, and he is weak to poison, so I'm gonna hit him with a sludge bomb. And that'll be really good. If if it'll hit. But he switches out to a Celesteela, and he'll be immune to it. Um, but now I can hit him with an ice beam. Didn't do all that much. And he set up a leech seed, so I'm gonna press the sharp. Yeah, I guess don't really have. I don't. Really, no, I just sludge bombed on accident. <laughs> My bad. That was a very, very big dumb. Full head with an ice beam in this battle's not looking all that great for me. Um, cause he has. An Ultra Beast and, uh, uh, what you call it, a, uh, a Legendary. And he hit me with an Earthquake and I'll go down to that. And I have a Bisharp who he, who, uh, he's not, um, well, I'm not super effective against him. Uh, but he's not super effective against me too. And a Breloom who he's four times super effective against. So that's not the best. I'm gonna sword stance up. He leech said, leech seated, leech said, and he protected. So I just sword stanced up again. And I'm gonna knock off now, and it did a ton of damage, and it knocked off his leftovers. Hit me with an earthquake, and it he did a lot of damage. And I'll go down to the leech seed. So it's all up to Breloom. Do I? Do I think he's like mock punch? Yes, he does. So I'll be able to mock punch Celesteela, and he goes down. So, now it's just the Xerneas, who he just so happens to also be super effective against me. I'm going to use Spore, but I'm not... I, but I was going to use Spore, but I didn't get the chance, because he Moonblast and one-shot me. So, uh, this video so far has resulted in a forfeit, and a complete d domination so i'm gonna uh i have a mimic you is a venusaur i'm gonna sword stance because i uh no matter what he did he couldn't hurt me except he could poison me that's not the best and sorry about that weird little rotate thing um and you know let's snuggle forever Attack boosted, it should take him out. Oh no, he resisted it because he's a poison type. He sludge bombed me. <sighs> I'm gonna use Shadow Sneak. And oh, it almost took him down. But he leech seeded. One more Shadow Sneak will take him out. But then I'll go down to the combination of the poison and the leech seed. Or wait. The leech seed won't do damage, but the poison will, and that was enough to take me down. I'm gonna send out my Star Raptor. He sends out a Dragonite. Let me just go see if he's said anything. No, he hasn't. Not. I'm gonna use Brave Bird. It did a, a good amount, but the recoil also hurt me. And he will outspeed now. So I'll Brave Bird again. He probably is Ice Beam or something like that. It's super effective against me. So I'm thinking maybe I should switch out. But I have nothing that resists that. He doesn't, but he does have fly. 
so I'm actually gonna switch out to the Zapdos, because I'll resist fly, but it still did a ton of damage. I'm gonna hit him with a hidden power ice, which will do a ton of damage if I can live as long as he doesn't hit me with something that one shots me. He doesn't, but he switches out to a zero raw. I hit him with a hidden power ice. And now what do I have? Roost. Yeah, Heat Wave's my best shot. He works himself up, boosts his special attack, or his attack and his special attack. Heat Wave did a good amount, but not enough to take him down. And, he's pro and I'm probably going to go down this turn. Unless he misses or something, he's probably going to use Plasma Fists. Because that's zero... Uh, that's Zerora. He doesn't use the super effective. I was gonna say that's a like signature move and it's really good, but he didn't. He ended up just using hidden power and he took me down. I'm gonna use sleep powder on on him. He used hidden power, so his hidden power is an ice type. I hit the sleep powder. That's good because now I can heal up um from my leftovers and quiver. Quiver dance. So, oh, but now I can't put uh the I can't put anything else to sleep. But I can hit him with a hidden power fire, and it didn't do very much at all. He, and he ice punch one shot me. So I'm gonna send out Scrafty. I'm gonna bulk up. Um, just set up a bit. Because that'll be good. I'm not, like, I know I said that I was recording this after, like, a little while after. Um, I recorded the yesterday's video, but I haven't done much today, so I'm still pretty tired. He isn't up to zero uh, again, so, but he's fast asleep, so I'm just gonna bulk up again. And I think I'll bulk up. A third time. Uh, wait, he's a special attacker, so it w won't do that much. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I get. He woke up. He outsped close combat. It was super effective, but now his defense is lowered. But it's not gonna matter. Cause I knock. I use knock off, and my attack went up due to my moxie. He sends out a barbacle. I'm gonna high jump kick, he cross chops. I hit the high jump kick and one shot him. So I'm gonna rest now. Um, just, oh, I'm really slow though, that's the thing. Huh. Yeah, but I guess I have a chest over. I guess I have a chest berry. So no matter what, rest won't, um, it won't like negatively affect me because it, um, if I get one, if he takes me down in one hit, um, I'll have gone down in one hit either way, and if he doesn't, I'll rest all the way up to full, and then I'll be, live to fight another day with my, in, um, extreme attack and defense boosted Scrafty. He, unfunny weeb disconnected. Let's see if he's switching his characters, like someone shouldn't do. He's a Gen 5, uh, a white, black and white 2, Gen 5 protagonist. I think that's it. It might be just regular black and white. Oh, and what do you know? He is not gonna, di he's not gonna reconnect. So we'll start another battle. <clears throat> Ta-da! He didn't. So, we'll get into another battle. We're fighting against N himself. And, uh, oh, he hit me with a fire blast. I did, I used the move that I didn't know. I accidentally hit it. And I taunted. So, I'm gonna destiny bond. And he missed the fire blast. So now, unless he wants to go down, he can't hit me. And he switched out to the Milotic. I hit him with a Shadow Ball. And he healed up with his leftovers. I'm going to Destiny Bond again. I do outspeed. 
and he recovered. I'm just gonna keep spamming Destiny Bond. No, yeah. Oh, it failed. All right, and he hit me with a dragon tail, took me down, and that's that. I don't want to send out a um, mini or because he he'll be super effective against me. And uh, even though I do want to use my little um the shield breaking or that what what's it what's it called the he is the white herb the shell smash. I'm gonna hit him with a Giga Drain. He switched out to the Sheninja. Good move. He's immune to that. But now, I'm just gonna set up a substitute. He sword stances up. And I can't hit him. That's very, very not good. Yeah. So, oh, I... I don't know why, but I thought the substitute would, um, stay. Hit me with an X scissor. He's probably gonna switch out, um, so, uh, he doesn't, but he did use Shadow Sneak, and I hit him with a Will-O-Wisp, and he will, unfortunately for him, go down to the burn. But he's probably gonna send in the Milotic. No, he sends in a, Dudri a Dodrio, which, uh, unfortunately for him, I happen to have Wild Charge, but I'm not going to get the chance because he took me down with a knockoff. I'm going to send in the Minior. Um, now, even though he still has the uh, my low tick, all sh he can't hurt me until my attack, special attack and speed, I think. Yep. Um, are already boosted, so he does, but now I will outspeed, because my speed's doubled, and I'm no longer holding a held item, which means acrobatics will do a ton of damage, but not enough. He dragon tails, switches me out, so that was a good move, so now my, that, that was a very big brain move. Switched, switches out to the Dull Fox. I heal up just a little bit. But now... Nothing I can really hit him with. So I'm going to go out to the Meloetta. Hit me with the Psy Shock. I resisted it. I'm going to hit him with a Shadow Ball. A, a Meloetta without Relic Song. Uh, Alright. Switches to the Milotic. I hit him with a Shadow Ball. It still does a lot. Well, I hit her with a Shadow Ball. I'm going to Shadow Ball again, and Milotic will go down. But if he sends out the Dodrio, I'm choice specs in uh, locked into it. So I can't do much. I'm going to go out to the Minior. He used Knockoff, and it didn't do all that much. But I'm going to power gem, and no matter whether he switches to Delphox or stays in with Dodrio, it'll be super effective. Unless he switches out to one of his other two Pokemon that I don't know about yet, that it either resists or, um, it's, n or it's not super effective against. But he switches out to a Scolipede, which power gem is super effective against, for some reason. Well, I get why it's super effective against him, but he's, I don't know why he switched out to the power gem. He used rock slide, which would be neutral, but he missed, so I just hit him with another power gem, and his scolipede went down. He switched out to the, he went out to the glade, so I'm just gonna acrobatics, but he's gonna outspeed, so he might just take me down. No, but he did, that will break my shell, so my attack and speed and everything go up a lot. I hit him with another acrobatics and the glade goes down. So now I'll outspeed. I will outspeed his Delphox. I'll hit him with a power gem. Or not. What? 250? Oh, he, mu he must have an item or something. I'm gonna go out to my Meloetta. I'm gonna hit him with a... Sh he might switch out to the Dodrio. He does. Or... So I hit him with a Hyper Voice instead, and I one-shot the Dodrio. This is looking very, very good for me. 
he hits me with a fire blast, but I'll hit him with a special attack boosted hyper voice. Yeah, hyper voice is special. He missed the fire blast. One, a hyper voice will take down the Del Fox. And that's the end of the battle. But anyway, thank you all for coming out to another one of my videos. And remember, life's a breeze if you keep it easy peasy, ham and cheesy. Bye.